Hey there YouTube, this is Brandon with Shredbox and today we're going to continue on in those electrical lessons. Last time we covered one pickup with a volume and a tone. Now if you need to, please go refresh on that because the same principles are going to apply here. This one, we're going to do a Telecaster type wiring, which is one volume, one tone, two pickups, and I'm going to do a three-way jack today with your output as well. Let's start off by talking about the three-way jack because we didn't talk about that last time. Here's what's going on. You've got this rectangle. And what this represents is if you take your jack and look at it from the bottom, okay? You're gonna have four points that you can solder to on each side of this rectangle. That's a three-way switch. Usually, you're gonna have a common here and a common there and then one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently because it makes sense graphically better this way. I'm gonna put both of my commons up at the top and then have one, two, three. Now what's going on, let's start with the green one. If you're in position one, your common is always sort of activated, right? Position one activates the first lug, so these two are connected on both sides. Position two is going to be very similar, but you're going to be connecting to the second lug. Position three, same kind of deal. Coming down here to three. So when you've got your switch in position one, um, we want like this and your common are connected. And you'll see as we go through it that this is gonna be our output and that's how we're gonna get our signal around is by these connecting depending on which position you're in. So take a look at that, remember what's going on and then I'm gonna get rid of this and put up that same tone and volume circuit that we had last time because it's gonna be a little bit easier to work backwards through this. All right, uh, we shouldn't use green, right? That's ground. Get rid of that. Tone pot with three little lugs to connect to. Volume pot with three lugs to connect to. The tone pot is gonna have a capacitor, right? That we connect there from this third one. And then inside your guitar, those are gonna be connected and come down to a ground. This ground, by the way, I don't think I mentioned last time, but that's going somewhere in your bridge usually. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a little arrow that way and draw my ground symbol. And that's just, it's going to the bridge, right? And then we don't use this third lug, but the second one, is gonna be our hot, or our signal. So I'll bring that up here and just draw a line over. For the volume, we've got this third one coming to the hot, right? We've got the middle one. Last time we just kinda drew it to an output, but what that actually is doing is going to the, sorry, <laughs> it's going to the, um, the tip, right? Yes. It's going to the tip of the output jack. And then you're also gonna have a sleeve. That sleeve is gonna be grounded. Okay, we're off to a great start, right? We already know most of this. This guy, this first one, right? That needs to come down to ground. We're done with the volume and the tone control. All right, that was pretty simple. Uh, this is exactly the same as last time. So now I'm gonna draw this little rectangle over here. I'm gonna draw my four lugs on each side. I'm gonna draw my two pickups. <laughs> Those are awful pickups, aren't they? Jeez. Sorry about that. 
Okay, and then um, these are gonna come to a ground, right? So I'll connect those because they're both going to a ground. Oop, dropped a cat. And then uh, just draw that coming up over to there. So we've got our pickups grounded and we've got our jack in now. This output, we're gonna tie in to the third terminal. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring a pickup to one common and the other pickup to the other common. Now remember what these are doing, right? So if this is in position three, you've got these two connected so this pickup isn't going anywhere. This pickup is going out to your volume and tone circuit. So if we're in position three, I would probably call this one your neck pickup and this one your bridge pickup. All right, let's work backwards. It's a little bit easier to understand going backwards. Now in position two, we want both pickups to get a signal to this output, right? Well, we can get this one just by connecting right there, right? Just jump her a little wire and solder to that lug. Now in position two, your signal is gonna go to this lug and jump down here and come out to your circuit. But what about the other one? Well, it's the same idea, right? We just jump across and connect it there. Now in position two, both pickups have a path to get from your signal to your output jack and then from there, you know, to your amplifier, to your ears. The only thing that's left is position one, right? We need this pickup alone to get a signal to your output jack. So how do we do that? Well, we've already got this path kind of started here, right? So the easiest way to do it is just jump these on the switch. Right, that's doing the exact same thing as putting a wire from here to here. And that's it. All right, we're good. So position one, I've just got this pickup or my bridge. Position two, you've got bridge and neck. Position three, you've got neck only. And then you've got your volume and tone, which we talked about, output jack and your ground to a bridge. Super easy, right? <laughs> It'll get easier. Watch this a couple times if you need to, and uh, really make sure you understand what's going on with that jack, because that's where you're going to do a lot of your modifications if you want to, besides just things like changing capacitors or changing out your pots, right? If those are single coils, these would both be 250s, probably. This would be a, uh, oh, I forget, is it 0.048 microfarads or 0.022 microfarads? I need to go watch my last video too, apparently. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Put them down in the comments. I'll also put a video link to the first video that has this stuff down in the description if you need to go watch that again. Uh, yeah, never stop chasing that tone, and I will see you all next time.